bless you for this evening. And Grace Coral, God bless you too. I, I feel you are blessed and touched at the same time. We'll be at GCB, GCG, PLC Church of God. In fact, register it tomorrow. Eh? <laughs> Thank you very much. So, Yvonne E. Sashi and Augustine H. Nunu are taking the fifth and sixth lessons. Yvonne's Yvonne, yes, 
please, God, just really walk towards us. No, don't, don't rush it. Don't rush it. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take your time. Take your time. Don't rush it. Beloved, our reading is taken from the book of Luke. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 35 and 38. Here goes the word of God. In the sixth month of... Sorry, let me take it again. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the will be born. He will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. The angel departed from her. Beloved, this is the gospel of the Lord. Thank you very much, Mr. Augustine H. Nunu. Welcome him as well. The sixth Bible lesson is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 1, 3 to 7. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And, and all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. This is the sixth Bible lesson. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. H. Augustine Nunu. As Elvis and his men and women rally to join us here, I'd just like to point on one of the scriptures. Grace Cora will be backing him. 
Grace Corral International will be backing him. There was a part where Yvonne read that really prompted me about when Mary said, how are these things possible? I am but a virgin. Listen to me, my case. I'm just making my case. Please listen to me. There are certain challenges in life, generally in banking terms, financial terms, and the likes of it. If you've not achieved any level because of a limitation, it is possible. Because whatever today's figures are, next year will be more daunting than it is. But even though it has not happened before, it is possible. You have to bear in mind that no matter the situation, how high the challenge may seem, as MD will say, when tough people face tough situations, they have to be tougher than their situations. No matter where you are, you might be a virgin at it. That's where people were actually worried about. That's where we, the message is going. But at the point in your life where you face a situation, you might surmount it. And that is what we are taking home today, right? Elvis, please take it away. Thank you. Bibi papa bi wasi de chia ye uto Se bibi papa bi wasi de chia ye uto Se bibi papa bi wasi de chia ye uto Se bibi papa bi wasi de chia ye uto Enye mi na maye eye ukuto na waye Se bibi papa bi wasi de Papa, 
administration by Elvis and Grace Corral International. This is safe to say that a Thanksgiving service would definitely come on. Because it's a precursor of what is to come. Amen. <laughs> on standby is Mr. Ifat Emir Sam Yeduedu, giving it the seventh and the eighth lesson by Mr. Tio Ai. Kindly join us with a round of applause. Kindly welcome Emir of Qatar International Sam Yeduedu. Amir, you're welcome, sir. Thank you. I bring you greetings from Qatar, and I was very sad to see you leave Qatar so soon. <laughs> Shall we listen to the penultimate lesson? It's taken from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through to 18. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through to 18. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you would recognize him by the sign. You would find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Verse 16, they hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph. And there, and there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about the child. And all who heard the shepherd's story were astonished. Here ends the reading of the seventh lesson. Be to God. Our eighth lesson is taken from the gospel according to John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 14. Let's hear the word of God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth, the word of God. Amen. 
A big round of applause as Grace Corral International takes the stage. We are still live on DCB Bank PLC's page, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You can like and follow, share the link for others to participate. You can leave goodwill messages there for your loved ones and friends who will be going online to join the online community to read our messages, a few of them before we continue. Please, Grace Goral, kindly take us on.
night, O Fadir, Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error burning, till he appeared on the sun. Oh. 
a clap offering to them. A clap offering. Let us give them a clap offering. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful unto you. We honor and bless your name for today. We count it joy to be part of the living. And we say thank you as an institution, as a bank. You have been good to us. In the midst of all the turbulence, your presence has been with us. And tonight we are here to give you gratitude and thanks for all you have done for us as a bank and as individuals. As your word come, we pray that you will continue to give us faith, hope, and confidence in you. Trusting and believing that with you in our vessel, we will smile at the storm. We ask this in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Standing on existing protocols, I wish each and every one of us a Merry Christmas. Avishapa, Amen. Avishapo. 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 I'm reading two scriptures, short scriptures that our theme is dwelling on. First is from 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the command of God our Savior and of Christ Jesus our hope. And the emphasis here is Christ Jesus our hope hope. Christ Jesus our hope. Then the second scripture is from Titus chapter 2 and verse 13. Titus chapter 2 verse 13. While we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. Here we are dwelling on Blessed hope. Blessed hope. So tonight, our short exhortation is on the theme, Place your hope in Jesus. Place your hope in Jesus. Place your hope in Jesus. One may ask, what is hope? What is hope? Hope is a feeling of expectation and a desire for a particular thing to happen. Being hopeful is the expectation in confidence to cherish and desire with an anticipation. Biblically, hope is the confident expectation of an longing of and longing for a promised blessings in Jesus. We are in Christmas season and the season that we are in is Advent. Advent season is a season that we prepare to celebrate the incarnation of the Messiah. This Messiah is also the hope to this world. Jesus is a savior and he is the hope to this world. It is the case that in most times we are caught up in the euphoria of festivities forgetting the reason for the season. More importantly, in the current state we find ourselves where we're facing serious crises, recessions, crumblings, and hopelessness, 
situations as the world and as a country. But this evening, I have come to assure you that there is someone we can place our hope in. His name is Jesus, the Christ. Jesus is the one that we can trust in. Jesus is the one that we can place our hope in. Jesus is the one that we can rely on in our helplessness situations. He is the reason for Christmas. He is the essence of Christmas. He is the center 